we are on set shooting the music video for A Place to Call Home. And it's been an interesting day. For the most part, everything's been fine. I love this overcast. It kind of works really well, matches the tone that I'm trying to go for with this music video. And, um, but it's been difficult to work with. Uh, I had uh, some hunters <laughs> that were um, hunting on our property. Um, with permission, you know, I think my brother was out there hunting with them, but uh, there were some guys hunting some rabbits and that kind of, you know, changed up my plans a little bit and then I started shooting, kind of getting a roll going and uh, it started misting a little bit, kind of raining, not heavily, just, just a light mist, but um, so I'm hoping that's going to hold off because I've shot everything so far but the bass and the drums. I think I can get the bass done today, I don't know about the drums, and uh, I just finished shooting the guitar solo and um, I got interrupted by these guys because they just seem to really want to be in the in the music video but it, guys you, I'm sorry you can't yeah so it's been kind of an eventful day but it's been going all right man it is really difficult shooting a music video uh, by yourself but uh, I'm hanging in there it's going all right um, big help is this mic stand I'm able to kind of position this and kind of match it to like my height and um, use it to get the camera in focus and things like that um, Oh, come on, guys. That's been kind of uh, helpful, but it's a lot of gear to work with, setting up the camera, figuring out where I'm going to be positioned. I had to bring my guitar out here and uh, my little, I, can, I don't know if you can see that, my, my guitar and, and my iHome to play the music so that I would be in sync and on time with the backing track and stuff. So, oh, But it's been a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to doing this a lot more and um, excited about like future music videos and stuff. So it's a, it's a lot of work. But I really, I really enjoy doing this kind of thing. It's a, it's a really good way for me to kind of scratch that uh, filmmaker itch, you know? So, all right, I got to go. Say bye. <sighs> so here we are, day two of shooting the music video. Yesterday, I was able to get pretty much everything done except the drums, uh, which is what I did today. So I had to slip over to my church and uh, grab the drum set. So I borrowed that. Um, we, we're using electric kits at the church now, so this is an, an acoustic kit that uh, doesn't really get used much anymore. But uh, I've used it quite a few times for, uh, for videos and stuff. So um, I grabbed the kit. I just grabbed you know all the parts I could and brought them over here. And then uh, I've been shooting kind of in uh, the garden at our house. Um, we're in winter right now here in Virginia. Well, yesterday was actually quite hot. Uh, today is really cold and it's actually hailing a little bit right now. I don't know if you can hear that. And um, yesterday I dealt with rain, today I had to deal with hail. So uh, <laughs> it's been quite the venture, but you can see this garden behind me. Just everything kind of has this, you know, dead cold winter look, which I like. <laughs> and um, I think it actually kind of matches with the, uh, kind of the theme of, you know, the, uh, the song I'm doing. I had to set the drums up in the uh, the field out there. I just kind of picked that spot because um, I wanted to make it easy on myself and it started hailing a little bit. I'm like, God, please hold back that hail till I get this done. And uh, fortunately, I think I got enough shots. I actually started getting kind of greedy trying to get a few more shots and then it started coming down harder. And I'm like, all right, I gotta go. <laughs> and so I had to rush all that stuff to shelter. But uh, but it went pretty good. It's definitely not perfect, and but it's been a while since I've shot a music video, and I think the important thing was that I just did it, and I'm looking forward to shooting a lot more. I was concerned with the uh, drums being too loud, and uh, so I took a few precautions. I had I taped some uh, some washcloths underneath the cymbals to kind of dampen them. That helped some, um, and I forget what you called it, but I released the uh, little wires underneath the snare um, to give it more of that tangy sound. Um, which I think is a little bit quieter than the full-on snare sound. And then uh, I didn't even have a kick drum. I've got no no pedal, so I just kind of had to mimic the pedal work. And it was really muddy, so I was like kicking into the mud, and it was just <laughs> it was pretty rough. But uh, but whatever, you know, I got it done, and um, I think I got enough footage to work with. So we'll see. But yeah, it, man, it's been man, it's been eventful. Uh, I'll have to make sure that the next music video I shoot is in a situation where I have a little more control over the environment. You know. Uh, unlike, you know, outdoors where the weather can change. And, you know, I had some ideas, but there's only so much you can do by yourself. Hopefully, as I keep doing this, my music videos start to get better and better, and uh, I learn some tricks, and I'll share them with you guys. So, uh, But right now, <laughs> uh, not really too many tricks, just uh, straight-up effort, you know. Oh, one other thing I will say, though, is um, for the drums, since the drum kit is so loud, it is difficult to play back to a, a backing track but the the damp stuff that really quieted the kit so my iHome might have worked maybe I don't know uh, but I had some earbuds and I just used one and 
had it in my ear and I tried to shoot on the opposite side so that it didn't show but uh that's probably the hardest part is just you know getting some kind of backing track to play along with to the drums um that you can hear but still you know be free to move around and stuff i remember when i shot why i grew my hair out that video uh, you can actually see i had this the bass amp angled and it was cranked and just like blasting the backing track so that i could hear it and play along plus uh that particular video i needed to be able to headbang so i don't know if i could have worn earbuds so that's uh, some behind the scenes stuff i'm hoping you know it's kind of hard to remember to do this but i want to get more of this behind the scenes stuff so you can kind of see the process share it with you guys and um share what tricks i learn and you know how i go about making these uh, music videos and stuff but i'm planning on making a lot more i'm really excited about it so uh hopefully you guys enjoy it um yeah until next time